Hey there, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Chief Empress Healing Flower, AKA Journey, and I'm doing a reading for whoever may need it. So let's see, let's get started. Let me just go ahead and light this lighter. All right. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just sit quietly, if you would. Just gonna do uh, three nice deep breaths in and out. Um, and if you want to forward, you can go right ahead. I just do this so that I can make sure we are on the same page. Um, the energy that we need is coming through. And um, yeah, so that's why I do it. Okay, sweethearts. And while I'm doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and clear out some of this energy just to get us relaxed. If you'll go ahead and close your eyes for me. Take a nice deep breath in and out in and out in and out all right all right i'd like to say thank you to my spiritual parents my mama my papa my ancestors angels of god who support me every step of the way i do apologize for the noise in the background and yeah so let's talk about it i had immediately before i even started move this and this is glee medicinals if you want to check out glee medicinals at uh i did an interview with her and that's my daughter she's a um, um a healer and she does things for with natural medicine for anxiety for pms for smokers you name it she does it okay but before I started, <laughs> I opened my deck. It's a new deck that I just got. It's called Vibe About It. Hold on. It's called What's the Vibe? And immediately, chaos. Excuse me, what? But here's the kicker. I literally just had a dream about a tornado last night. Now, the tornado, though, was a good thing. Even though, and we'll get more, we'll pull cards on it. Even though the, there was chaos, there was still a lot of light in the background. It was bright. And there was a lot of water. And it was flooding, but I was protected from the flooding. I knew I had to take cover, but I was protected from the, flood, uh, the flooding. So, I'm going to take a look. Because I was like, I promise you, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't, I wasn't going to even talk about that dream. I wasn't. Mm. Excuse me one moment. I need my water. Sorry if that's loud. I just, kept, I just came from working out. But anyway, so there's some type of chaos here. We're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull more on it. Let me see what's going on. Cause I'm like, what in the world? I did not, I promise you see her. I did not expect that. I really didn't. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. So glad you're here. So let's take a look here. That really threw me for a loop, boo. All right. I'll more videos on the second half if you're interested on the air and fire channel as well i don't show up there all the time as i'm much on reading journey but i do show up there on a regular basis it's, um i do as much as i can i'm only one person but i try to put out as info, much info as i can because it's a lot of us right all right so oh. okay Five of Cups. All right. And I feel like I want to take this. Oh, Five of Swords. Seven of Swords, excuse me. Why did I say five? Seven of Swords. I also, though, in my mind, you could be seeing 55 a lot. I see 444 as well. So if something's been protected. Some, some about, someone here is in sorrow. Someone can't see the bright side. Someone can't see the reason somebody is to be 
still standing. There's something about a bridge here. I don't know if, give me a second, Seer. You crossed the bridge. You got to the other side. Okay. You, maybe this will make sense to you. 5.33 on the clock. Change and mastery. You're walking back and forth across the bridge. Okay, this is what I'm getting. I feel like were you in this castle or isolated in a castle? Another 55 o'clock. Isolated in this castle, but you crossed this bridge and you got over to this person? Okay, just hold on. Let me see where this is going. So what I'm getting is either you, yeah, you crossed the bridge you got to this person or you got to something that they didn't want you to get to. You see something or you see someone for who they are. You cross the bridge. There goes the water. Hold on. I'm trying to put this together with that dream. Did you create a bridge? You created the bridge is what I'm getting. Someone didn't know you could do that is what I'm hearing. Someone didn't know you had, <laughs> this is our magic powers. But I guess what they're saying is someone didn't know you would, you would be able to figure something out or get over to the other side of something. And it's caused upheaval though. This is you, you took something back. You took something back. You're taking something back. A lot of my energy is future energy, so bear with me, okay? Yeah, there's some type of judgment here. Somebody has to leave. They didn't see it. I heard they didn't see you coming. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sia. Didn't see you coming. This was secret. Okay, clarify for me. Oh yeah, they for sure, with this major encounter, they for sure didn't see you coming. So this wasn't gonna last anyway. They're not major arcanas. They didn't, they, this wasn't gonna last at all. Oh my gosh. And I feel like you're weak and have it. Whatever you did has really made something come down here. We'll get more into that in a moment. Tell me about that. Okay. The star card. Somebody didn't know, didn't see that you were a star. Someone didn't know that you were gifted, have powers connected to divine. You are the divine power. You are the gifts. Ooh, I'm here. Surprise, surprise. Excuse me for a minute. Somebody didn't see that you were the gift. Ooh, we. Okay, I feel like this is really causing some problems for them. I can feel it. Somebody's very, very nervous. Let me see what's going on with them. Could be an emperor. Could be a father figure. Could be the father of your children. Could be, um, there's a father figure here. I'll also hear an uncle. Ten of Pentacles involved here. You took back the Ten of Pentacles? You took back something, a family legacy back? Or some type of financial something? Yeah, 
because you're gifted and it's causing somebody grief. Somebody's worried because you're going to be celebrating. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can feel it. Somebody's got, what do you call that? There's a word for that. Sulking. Somebody's sulking. This person may be very immature. They may be, they may be an adult in a child, a child in an adult's body. Not trying to insult somebody, but that's the energy that I'm picking up. Somebody is frustrated because you're going to be celebrating. I also feel though these are three people too. Could be more than three. Could be a group of people here who you beat. I'm hearing clearly you outrank them. All these individuals, this one, these people here, this person here, you outrank them. I'm hearing you fooled them. They feel like you fooled them and they're burdened. They didn't see this. They did not expect this. I'm hearing, I'm, and this is not calling you these things, but somebody thinks you're dumb. Somebody thought you were really dumb, naive, and it would be easy to pull this off. But I'm also hearing God will use the foolish things to conform conform the wise. Mm, and my candle's going crazy. I agree, angels. They let you know, like, that's right. We wanted you to think they were a complete fool. That's what we wanted you to think. Because no matter, and you should treat no one in that type of manner. No matter what you think about them. It's not about what they look like. It's not about who are they inside is, is what you go by, 12, 12 on the clock. I feel strong. Someone just said, I, I, it wasn't, it's not me, I'm here. Someone just made a fool out of themselves. They tried to make a fool out of you, but they made a fool out of themselves. And I'm getting a really big headache. Someone may be having headaches, pressure in the head I'm hearing. If that's you, please see the disclaimers below, baby, because I'm not your doctor and I don't claim to be. All right, let's take a, you know, let me mix these up because I'm gonna use them, so. All right, let's see what's going on here. So, I can actually put this here. Because at the end of the day, what I'm getting is the story. I'm hearing the story is told. So, I think what they mean by that. This book is, this chapter is over. This chapter is about, if it's not over, it's about to be over. Remember, I get a lot of future energy. This chapter is about to be over. It's already, though, over for somebody here. This empress, I want to say empress, even though I see a high priest, could be an emperor as well. Baby. This could be a mother, mother figure as well. You could be a mom, mother figure. Or this is so somebody you're dealing with. You could also be gifted. You could be a healer, regardless of gender, chosen one, whatever you want to call yourself. You could have Egyptian ties as well. They messed with the wrong bloodline here. If somebody does the wrong bloodline, it should have never touched you. That was a bad mistake. You know what? I've been seeing this a lot. And I can't remember what that is. What, y'all, can somebody tell me in the comments? What is that symbol again? And I'm so sorry. I've been seeing this symbol for the past almost two weeks. See how that applies to you. And can you share that with me? It's not, it looks like the crescent moon, but that's not what it is. It's, it's a symbol of something. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, they just showed me. They're also on the Shriners hats, but they're the real, they're not, 
The Shriners that you see are not the real Shriners. I hate to break your little hearts, whoever may think they're the real one. They're not, they're a farce, they're fake. They're actually, they hijack the true people that wear the symbol. And I need to go do some research on it. But your bloodline could be tied to these, this, this as well. There's somebody here. And you're of darker descent. For others, you're a healer. You're something. You're, you're something. You are not just a regular schmegler. At all. You come from a good bloodline, I'm hearing. A good bloodline of 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 healers of people who really help the planet earth angels we have 16 minutes in child minute by four let's go ahead and see tell me what was that five of cups please five of cups and that ten of pentacles yeah somebody's sad because it looks like you stole you didn't steal it. It was yours. You gained something back. You gained, yeah, your rights. Not only physical rights, but your spiritual rights, which brought the physical to you. If you know what I'm saying, do you understand, baby? Do you inner and overstand for me? Do you inner and understand? So this is causing a lot of chaos. Okay, this is deep. I just felt that. So for somebody, a family here, somebody with a family line, you... Y'all are like very important. And I know, and I'm not just saying it because some people are like, yeah, I'm important. Yeah, yeah. That's not you. Um, <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm gonna bust your bubble. This is the type of people they don't run around saying who they are because they can't say who they are. Because yeah, people will be after them. I'm definitely hearing people will always be after them for something, good or bad. They're quiet. I'm hearing this is a silent group of individuals who are very powerful spiritually and there ain't nobody to mess with these people they're not afraid of the darkness because they are the darkness in a good way listen you gotta have darkness without darkness nothing else would be here like what are you talking about journey when you are when you're in your mother's womb, it's what in there? It's dark. It ain't no light in there. You're coming out of the darkness. You come on once you come into the light, you come into chaos. So Somebody might know this, that they they effed up, I'm hearing. Like, they shouldn't have did this. Somebody feels like, I really did this wrong. But what they're not failing to realize is you shouldn't have done this at all to anyone. No one deserves to be treated badly in any form or fashion, no matter how you feel about it. And it looks to me it's over some type of financial gain. Some type of riches. Wow. All right. I love this five cups, please. And the uh, ten of cups. Yeah. This was lust. That's what this was about. Yep. Lust, greed. Yeah. By any means necessary. But somebody wants to talk to you about this. I'm also hearing they want to apologize. They want to celebrate with you again. They want to talk to you again. But you don't want nothing to do with them. You're not. Somebody knows this already that you're done. I'm, I'm getting. Even if you didn't tell this person out of your mouth. However you've been responding. They see it very clearly that you're not. And I'm seeing 44 is like crazy as I'm doing your read. Somebody, yeah, I'm hearing they let their lust and greed get the best of them.
It really, yeah. Somebody realized they went too far. Yeah, this person feels really left out. They could also be feeling like they don't want to talk to anybody. They don't want to. They don't want to deal with anybody because yeah, somebody their had this person is very broken hearted. For someone else, or this group, shattered. They feel shattered, broken. Somebody's having yeah confirmation. Somebody's having nightmares. Somebody knows they really failed. This is over. Someone knows for sure that this is done. Talk about the moon card, please. You know, this is done. It's official. Well, confirmation again. Yeah, because see, they forgot to do something. They didn't cover something. Somebody missed something. They feel like I, if I had to do this, there's there's a piece of this puzzle. At least this is what they're feeling at this moment, at this at this energy. They're saying that if they had to do something a little differently, they had there was, so, there was something they forgot to do, and they feel like that's what messed them up. But that's not it. They were gonna get caught anyway. Yeah, this person doesn't want to talk. Somebody, they're being very, yeah, secluded, I'm hearing as well. They don't want to be near anybody. Because they also feel like if they do, if they go near somebody, they're going to hurt somebody is what I'm getting. Like they, this is the type of person, like when they can't get their way, they want to punch walls and they're the type to take their head and bang their head against the wall and dent it and then be like, ow. Yeah, because I just see, yeah. Mm. I don't like that energy. That's sad because if you feel like you got to do all of that to feel like you don't think, because I mean, what they're doing is they don't realize that they think they don't have the capability to be successful or take care of themselves or be successful. Like, this is a person, like, they they feel like they'll never get anywhere in life. They're not successful. They're not smart enough. They're not that type of energy when they are. And they think that, but see, this person, though, somebody sees person or persons. Because some is a person, some of you is persons. Or someone that will watch is persons. Um, some just think that you were lucky and you just gained something because you were just lucky. But no. Yeah, see, now they want to apologize because they were arrogant. They did something that was rash, immature. They were uncaring. They they were lying. Now they want to apologize because it's all come out. But the thing about their apology, I don't trust the apology. Because they've got hidden motives still. They still haven't healed. They still have those same feelings that they were feeling before, which is jealousy, lust, anger, envy. So I think if they, even if you were to even allow this person to even hear their apology, they'd be up to something else. Or they do something that I just don't like. I don't trust this energy at all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be near this. I wouldn't. I'd just stay away from this, honey. I wouldn't even bother. Tell me more about the star card, please. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't, mm -mm. it doesn't feel right at all. Yeah, see, because they keep, keep saying, I want to apologize. I want to apologize. This could be a lover of yours or somebody, you got a soulmate, could be family, could be, because uh, soulmates could be our mama, our papa, our family. Yeah, see, they just want to come in. Because they are having a hard time. They're having a tower moment. This is the only reason they want to come in. This is the only reason. So, and I, I feel a little bit of confusion. I feel like this person is going through some type of mental challenges here that they need some help with. And I honestly, I would not... This is somebody, they'll smile in your face and they'll be like, yeah, everything's okay. Yeah, let's go to the park. Let's hang out and have dinner. Next thing you know, you in, in some 
dark alley and they didn't hurt you. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I don't like this energy at all. I don't. Yeah, this is somebody who's very non-supportive. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they could be taking on fire sign energy. I feel like they're any sign, but they're doing, the, they're in this energy. They're ready to take some type of action. They could be an older man. Um, they could be a man 40 and up or something, or they could be the father of your children, or they could be your father. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't see her. I wouldn't. I just, I don't care because I'm hearing somebody crying and like, well, would you talk to me? Please talk to me. Da -da. Baby, I would not. I would not because there's hidden motives. I'm hearing clearly there's hidden motives here. Because this person feels like you're the answer to their problems. You're the, you're the one that brings them, them happiness. It's not you. It's the energy you carry, which you have received from the Most High. They have to learn how to get it on their own. And that's very, that's very common with seers, earth angels, healers. People draw to that. They don't want to do the work themselves or they don't know how to do the work. They're afraid. And so they latch on to people like you and I because, you know, they don't know how to get it any other way. And, and, and they're so afraid they're going to lose it. Yeah, I feel like this person was juggling in the past. It was something about money and juggling money here. Juggling money. Yeah, and see that you're not interested in what they have to offer. And the sad part is the universe is trying to give them options. But the options I'm hearing are not good enough. They don't want, I don't want that. That's what I'm hearing. I don't want that. Like a child is what I'm getting. I don't, that's not good enough. I want this. This can even be about a person. I want them. I want them or I want that or I want whatever this is. I want that money. I want that car. I want that job. I want that whatever it is. I want that. And then for somebody, it's like, I want them and that. <laughs> I want them and that. But you're looking a whole nother direction. See, you're not interested. You already got your mindset on other things. You've left the past behind. It's gone. And honey, by uh, whoever this, whenever you watch, the next eclipse is gone for you. I don't care when you watch it, you're done. You're, you're done. You're done. Somebody's focused on them and their coin only. Their business or you receive this back. Somebody got this back. You receive this back. And that's all your focus is, is you're working on that, straightening out that, doing whatever you need to do with that, living your best life. That's it. You're not, yeah. That's your focus right now. That's your focus, taking action and sorting out things that you need to sort out. That's it. Now I'm hearing somebody knows that. Well, 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 well. Wookie dokie. Wookie dokie. So I just saw Aries. We got an Aries involved. Pennsylvania here. Shaman and Reiki here, like I've been saying. Birth. I don't know. Somebody's giving it. I don't know. Somebody's pregnant. Somebody may be pregnant in this situation or something new is beginning for a, if you're a healer or Shaman or Reiki healer. Illinois is here. <clears throat> California. Somebody from Illinois could be pregnant, but doesn't have to be. Ohio. Somebody tall, could be tall from Ohio, but don't have to be somebody from Ohio and somebody that's tall. Got a Leo that's here, got a Hawaii, got tattoos, 
We got somebody that's a homebody. Our first, last, middle initial. Somebody that loves to shop online. Somebody single involved. There's a Buddhist involved. Somebody from Utah. Iowa. Somebody in the spotlight. Take the high road. So take the high road, loves. A Gemini needs to take the high road. You're not doing it. Somebody with braids is involved. Could be a Gemini with braids. Doesn't have to be just somebody with braids. Wyoming, Michigan, Alabama, a low vibrational Pisces, West Virginia, and first last middle initial. I'm going to stop it there. And somebody also I just saw with a goatee. All right. So um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, and yeah, if you, if you do subscribe, drop in the comments, say hello. So I can say hi back if you want to. Other than that, darling, um, this is wow. Oh yeah, no, let me give you, I'm not gonna leave you in this energy. Let me get you uh, a card from the most uh, high angels, guys, whatever you believe in. But the one thing I do see is that something was taken back. You took something back that, that I feel like is owed to you or is yours. And you know about this. Somehow you know, if you already just flat out know, or you've been getting messages from the Most High Tarot and all these other places. But you definitely got something that you beat somebody at their own game. It's causing upheaval. Like, it's causing a lot of... You may not see it, but I'm telling you, behind the scenes, these people are catching hell. They are catching hell, and they never thought... Yeah, yo, they really are getting it. I can hear them screaming. I don't know what's coming down the pike for them, but it ain't good. Because whatever they did to you, it was just, it was beyond ridiculous. And I almost feel like there's, I definitely feel, I'm surprised I don't see the devil card here. Because I feel it. I feel that energy. It's really nasty. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you know, this is somebody from your past that you know you cannot trust, stick with that. Trust your gut. Okay? All right. It says, just to open your heart, not just a little all the way, and let love flow in. So walk in love. Don't let this taint you or frustrate you or be angry. Just take the lessons that you learn and realize that you, apparently, it looks like you were their karma, okay? Um, 33 and a clock. You mastered something. You taught these people. Basically, you taught someone or these people that you just can't treat people any kind of way, that there are going to be repercussions, right? This is not a way to live life. You can't have peace and um, acting like that. And then the Mosai also says, never forget how resilient you are. You always bounce back. Yeah, you do. So remember that you always bounce back. And I feel like these people, I really feel strongly like they know that. Three, 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 three on the clock. Thank you so much, darling. Take care. Bye-bye.